Mr. Jimmy said, well, Grace, to be truthful, I did think the boy's face was a little swollen up, but you know how dark it is in the cabin, and by God, there are some folks who just naturally have lopsided heads. She said, dark or not, even blind Lemon Jefferson could see something's wrong with this baby's eye. What happened here, bud? She touched underneath my eye as light as a feather. I said, well, ma'am, Ty Amos woke me up by shoving a pencil up my nose all the way to the R. And when I went to punch him, I slapped him instead, and it left a big welt on his cheek. So we put up our dukes, and we went at it. But it didn't take long before I knew I couldn't whoop him, so I just curled up and fell down. I looked at Herman E. Calloway to make sure he was listening to the next part. I wanted to let him know that even though he was real mean, our minds thought about things in the exact same way. I said... I fell down, ma'am, because the, the Lord gave me the good sense to know when enough is enough. He acted like he didn't hear, so I kept talking to Miss Thomas. Then Mrs. Amos came, and I could tell they'd gone through my suitcase, even though they promised they wouldn't, and she locked me up in the shed where those hornets and fish head guards got a hold of me. Miss Thomas looked like this was some real amazing news. Herman E. Calloway said, Sounds like a case of diarrhea of the mouth and constipation of the brain. Miss Thomas gave him a dirty look and said, you said the home, bud. What kind of a home? Where's your mama? I said, she died four years ago, ma'am. She put her hand on my shoulder and said, I'm sorry, sweetheart. How about your daddy? Do you know where he's at? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, where is he, honey? I pointed dead at Herman E. Calloway's big belly again and said, that's him right there. Miss Thomas looked like she wanted to smile, but she said, now, bud, I've only known you for a couple of minutes, but I can tell your mama did a fine job of raising you. I can see you've had a real good, proper upbringing. So I'm kind of surprised that you're pointing like that. She was right. I brought my finger down. I said, I'm sorry, ma'am. She said, that's fine, but it wasn't me who got pointed at. I told her, Herman E. Calloway, I'm sorry, sir, but I didn't mean it. She smiled and said, that's better. We all make mistakes. You know what? But you look like you could use a good meal. So why don't you just sit right there and join us? She pointed a ring covered finger at the empty table directly across from him. Shucks, how can anyone enjoy their food with Herman E. Calloway staring back at you? 